Hidden amongst the towering peaks of the Andes lies a place that has haunted the dreams of explorers and historians for centuries. A fortress of impossible strength, built by a people who, according to conventional wisdom, shouldn't have possessed the technology to achieve it. Olantaytambo, a name whispered with reverence and awe, its colossal stones, some weighing over a hundred tons, were somehow quarried, transported, and fitted together with laser-like precision. How did they do it? Did they possess a forgotten technology? Or were forces beyond human comprehension at work here? Some say this was more than just a fortress, a cosmic observatory aligning with the stars, hinting at knowledge that defies our understanding of the ancient world. Join us as we journey to Olantaytambo and unlock the secrets of a civilization that dared to defy the limits of human possibility. Nestled high in the heart of the sacred valley of the Incas, near Cusco, Peru, lies a fortress that has puzzled historians, archaeologists, and explorers for centuries, Olantaytambo. This ancient site is more than just a ruin. It's a testament to an engineering prowess that seems almost impossible for its time. As the morning sun casts its golden hues over the towering stone terraces and colossal monoliths, one can't help but wonder, how did the ancient builders achieve such architectural perfection without modern tools? What secrets are locked within these stones that have stood silent for over half a millennium? The story of Olantaytambo begins long before the Spanish conquest of the Americas. Though the town itself was established by Emperor Pachacuti in the 15th century, evidence suggests that the area was inhabited much earlier. When Spanish conquistadors arrived in the 1530s, they were awestruck by the grandeur of the Inca constructions. Chronicler Pedro Sancho de la Hoz wrote, No human force, unaided by machines of great power, could have moved such enormous masses. One of the most astounding features of Olantaytambo is the Temple of the Sun. Perched atop a steep hill, it is composed of massive stone blocks, some weighing up to 140 tons. These stones were quarried from a mountainside over six kilometers away, across the Urubamba River and a deep valley. The logistics of moving these megaliths baffle modern engineers. The stones are so precisely cut and fitted that even a razor blade cannot slip between them. How was this level of precision achieved with the technology available at the time? Adding to the mystery are the enigmatic carvings and symbols etched into the stones. Some researchers believe that Olantaytambo was more than a fortress. It was a cosmic observatory, a place where the heavens met the earth. The site's alignment with celestial bodies suggests a sophisticated understanding of astronomy. Could the Incas have possessed knowledge far beyond what we give them credit for? Theories abound about how Olantaytambo was constructed. Some suggest that the Incas employed a technique of stone softening, using plant extracts to render the hard granite malleable. This would explain the seamless joints and the flowing shapes of some stones. However, this theory lacks concrete evidence and remains in the realm of speculation. A fascinating comparison can be made with the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Both structures involve massive stone blocks, precise construction, and astronomical alignments. Yet, they were built by civilizations that had no contact with each other. This parallel raises thought-provoking questions about the capabilities of ancient societies and whether there is a common thread in human ingenuity. Nearby discoveries further enhance our understanding of the Inca civilization. The agricultural terraces of Moray reveal a sophisticated knowledge of agronomy and microclimates. These concentric terraces simulate different environmental conditions, allowing the Incas to experiment with crop cultivation. The salt mines of Maras, a network of thousands of salt evaporation ponds, showcase advanced techniques in resource management. These sites, along with Olantaytambo, paint a picture of a society that was highly advanced, innovative, and in harmony with nature. 
First-hand accounts from local inhabitants provide invaluable insights. Maria Quispy, a Quechua elder from the region, shares stories passed down through generations. Our ancestors listened to the mountains and the stars. They knew secrets that the modern world has forgotten. The stones speak, and we must learn to hear them again. Her words echo a deep connection between the people and the land, suggesting that the construction of Olantaytambo was as much a spiritual endeavor as it was an architectural one. Another conspiracy theory suggests that Olantaytambo was built by a lost civilization predating the Incas, possibly the megalithic builders known as the Pirujas. Advocates of this theory argue that the Incas merely inherited and expanded upon existing structures. They point to differences in construction techniques and the weathering of certain stones as evidence. Could there have been an ancient civilization with technology surpassing that of the Incas, now lost to history? From a rational standpoint, most archaeologists agree that the Incas built Olantaytambo using ingenious methods and sheer human effort. They likely employed a combination of rope, lever, and ramp systems to move the stones. Studies have shown that with sufficient manpower, potentially thousands of workers, and knowledge of simple machines, it's feasible to transport and position massive stones. The precise stonework could be the result of patient craftsmanship, using stone hammers and abrasives to achieve smooth surfaces and tight joints. Geologically, the region provides clues to the construction techniques. The presence of natural ramps and the discovery of unfinished stones along the route from the quarry suggest a step-by-step -step process. The Incas' deep understanding of their environment enabled them to exploit natural features to their advantage. An interesting fact is that the name Olantaytambo itself carries meaning. Derived from Olantay, a warrior in an Incan legend, and tambo, meaning resting place or inn, it reflects the site's historical significance as both a military stronghold and a hub of activity. As we delve into the mysteries of Olantaytambo, we're reminded of the words of philosopher Arthur C. Clarke. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Perhaps what seems impossible to us was entirely within the realm of possibility for the Incas, guided by their unique knowledge and worldview. If you enjoyed this video, then you're absolutely going to love our next adventure. We're journeying to the heart of Sri Lanka, to a place that defies explanation, Sigiriya. Imagine a sheer rock column rising 650 feet out of the jungle, crowned with the ruins of an ancient city. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, sometimes hailed as the eighth wonder of the world, draws thousands each day, all captivated by its impossible construction. Was it carved by man or something more? Local legends speak of King Ravana and a race of sky-born beings known as the Asura. Join us as we explore Sigiriya's mysterious scoop marks, its ancient water tanks, and the secrets hidden within its very stones. Deep within the emerald heart of Sri Lanka, shrouded in the mists of time and legend, lies a place that defies imagination. A place where human ambition dared to challenge the very heavens. A colossal monolith sculpted by nature's hand over millennia, then crowned by the audacious vision of a king who sought to build a paradise amidst the clouds. This is Sigiriya. For centuries it stood silent, a forgotten sentinel swallowed by the relentless embrace of the jungle. Its secrets, etched in stone and whispered on the wind, remained hidden from the world. But what secrets they are! Tales of power, betrayal, and a desperate bid for a throne. Tales of engineering marvels that predate modern understanding, of artistry that breathes life into bare rock, of a king's dream turned to dust and reclaimed by the earth.